Okay guys, it's almost frog season. You know, we're getting in, uh, as we get into summer and the weeds come up, lily pad fields come up and stuff like that, bass like to move into that type of cover and it can be deadly, but it's tough to fish if you don't fish something like a slop frog or any, any of these types of baits that go along the top of the water, the fish will blow up on them. But these things uh, will always work a little better with a few modifications. Uh, one of the first things I like to do, this one I've actually replaced the legs on, but you'll notice that I've, the legs are a little shorter than you might see on, say, a factory frog. Um, I just think that makes the bait a little more compact, uh, easier for the to fish to get it all in its mouth and, and gets a little, you know, sure hit, and, you know, get, a, get more of that in its mouth. A lot of times I'll bend the hooks out a little bit. These things can be notorious uh, for not getting really good hooks or fish come off of them. Uh, in, in heavy cover. So widening the hooks a little bit. Uh, the other thing you can do is to add a trailer hook. How I usually do that is just with a larger three-way swivel, slip it over the uh, the dual hooks and then off the uh, the back of the three-way just put a weedless hook of some kind and just having that trailer hook back there on a the frog like that or just putting a, a three-way on a directly on a on a frog like that. Just that adding a stinger hook sometimes can get you a few more bites. Uh, adding rattles to your baits can also help. Um, usually I'll just take like worm weights, you know, whether they're brass or glass ones and slip them in wherever there's an opening, you know, through the leg openings or something like that, just to add a little more rattle to these things. And of course, when you're fishing frogs, a lot of times they get tore up after a bit. You'll get tears in them like this, you know, from toothy critters or things like that. You know, so some super glue put on there. Uh, we'll usually just patch them up and, and you'll get a few more fishing trips out of a frog that way so you can repair those once they've been damaged somewhat but like I said we're getting into frog season it won't be long get your frogs ready hit the heavy cover and have fun